Good afternoon. It is January 3rd. Got a tiny bit of wind hitting the big turbine. Probably, I don't know, maybe eight miles an hour. I think that one's bouncing around 20 to 50 watts. So looks like it's going to slow back down. <laughs> This one, as usual, doing nothing. <laughs> it's spinning, but it's not making nothing. If I had that fancy MPPT controller on it, yeah, I'd probably be making 12 watts, which, you know, 12 watts is better than zero watts. I am going to be upgrading my controller system from just uh, straight rectifiers and going to the new school finally gonna do it but I think I've had enough of watching this guy getting blocked out by this guy that's a monster that's like a 60 foot tall uh, Fraser fur and really from any direction really uh, the only direction this thing seems to catch any wind those trees back there block it out those trees over there block it out those trees block it out that's uh, what is that northwest it's west um, southwest from the southeast you know south southeast it can catch some steam and it actually sometimes beats the big one but that's about it so like I've said in previous videos this was my first turbine tower this tower started its life at 20 foot tall with that uh, stupid lantern turbine, the vertical access you see on eBay and Amazon. Uh, don't buy it. Do not buy it. Any variation of that lantern is absolutely useless and will never make you happy with your investment. Um, I had it up for six months. It's uh, 20, 30 mile an hour wind and never saw a single watt out of it while it was in the air. Um, when I finally took it down, just for fun, I attached it to <laughs> an engine and it made about 120 watts for about 30 seconds until the magnets ripped apart and anyhow, so that self-destructed I bought this um, I had issues with turbulent wind I still have issues with turbulent wind but I modified the tail that made a big improvement I tried a bunch of different blade sets this particular set the 810 millimeter blades from uh, Greeny do the best on this one they generate enough torque to spin this up um, in this location I've seen this turbine with these blades uh, spin up to uh, about 426 watts I want to say was uh, the peak but as far as you know total power accumulation um, it really it doesn't do me a lot of good uh, yeah. Cause that's what you want that you know that's what charges batteries peaks don't charge batteries you want kilowatt hours you want amp hours out of it not momentary peaks they're they're fun to watch you know yay 400 watts oh, okay well it doesn't do any good to your batteries so the you know 350 dollar turbine and the you know 200 dollars in hardware 
to get it up in the air and the $200 piece of copper to uh, run it to your power board and rectifiers and everything else and meters you know I got I probably got almost $800 stuck into this damn thing and in its lifetime year and a half I've probably grossed I don't know maybe 10 15 kilowatt hours out of it and it's definitely capable of more the very same turbine on the other system I'm working on um, for uh, my first customer in a matter of weeks has already produced nearly 15 kilowatt hours um, at only 20 feet in the air. This one's five feet taller than that with a modified, a massive modified tail. That's a foot and a half by two feet right there. Um, the one for my customer still has the factory tail on at, you know, the much closer to the turbine housing. This one is pulled all the way back to the end of the, the, the tail shaft um, to, to generate as much, you know, twisting force uh, and stabilization as possible, but it just, it just doesn't see it over here. So, I think this is coming down. And I did a little bit of measuring, and my distance between earth anchors and earth anchor to the tower, fortunately, Oh, on a side note, generator's running. Well, you know, it's January. It's gray out, and the turbines aren't doing a whole lot of nothing. So it is what it is. That's off-grid life. Unless you got a big pocket hook to play with. <laughs> Which I don't. So... The measurements for my tower to the anchors is identical as the other tower. I did a quick little bit of pacing around, and if I were to move that tower over here, um, I could marry I could use those two anchors for two of my points they're both three point uh, anchor systems and that pole would go right here and the third anchor would go right here and it would probably have to drop that way. This one drops that way. So this one would have to drop this way. Uh, so I could keep these two cables connected, disconnect that one, and then let it down and raise it for servicing. But uh, I'll back up. Here, and you can have a better look. There is still obstructions over here. I still got these two trees that cause turbulence uh, with this guy from West Wind. West Wind, it has a really hard time staying in the wind. It uh, goes around the two trees and it spins and it, you know, even though that tail is also highly modified, it furls it out. But, uh, any wind from the north, northwest wind, all the way to east, south, and some southwest wind, this one does much, 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 much better. It actually makes rated power, overrated power. I've seen this one over 900 watts. That's an 800 watt turbine. 
Um, I've seen it peak over 900. I've seen it hang out at uh, seven, 800 in good windstorms and, and really generate some power. This one has made, you know, five, six kilowatt hours in a day by itself, which uh, is the difference between starting my generator and not. Actually, that day it had the dump load uh, clicking and we were heating water with that extra power. So that was exciting to see. But uh, I think I'm gonna pound some steel into the ground. The ground is pretty frozen right now, so I'm not gonna be digging holes and pouring concrete. But uh, I think I could safely pound some steel into the ground and just relocate that tower just as it is uh, my cable is only buried a couple of inches underground so that might that'll really be the biggest challenge is getting the wire out of the ground without damaging it um, i'm going to start working on that in a little bit and we'll just see how it goes but uh yeah i think i'm going to pound some steel in the ground i paced it out the wire should reach i shouldn't even have to modify anything I will have to, well, I'll have to pull it through the house and follow this wire down the same path that goes and uh, run it to the power board and reconnect it to the rectifiers through that way. So it'll be a little bit of messing around, but I think that is the best plan of action. Um, and this is kind of like my little roundabout through the yard because backing that thing into the busy road is a pain in the ass excuse my french but even with a third anchor right here that puts me close to my little uh turnaround here but i think you know i can safely clear it and maybe i'll put a, a solar light there for nighttime so I don't clip it and uh, maybe you know paint it so the wife doesn't clip it during the daytime <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna play around with the wire for a little bit see if I can get that out of the ground and see if I can get some steel in the ground here um, to mount the pole and uh, I got an earth anchor. Well, we'll see if I can get her in. And we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll check back. Maybe this will be the end of the video. Either way, take care. Well, cable free. And uh, I got my two guy wires. On the side, loosened up. It's uh, got quite a bit of wobble in the pole. Um, I'm gonna have to time this perfect. Right now is pretty much my moment while the wind is perfectly still. Because uh, this has the potential to suck. I'm gonna have to drop it towards that chair. And hopefully it rests on there halfway decent without uh, whatever. We'll see. Don't try this at home. Always have a helper. Don't be like me. But hey, I'm a mason. I do everything the hard way.
Well, could have been better, could have been worse. Wind uh, was trying to grab her, but she wanted to go that way, so I kept that one hooked just enough that it, uh, you know, some tension would keep her, keep her there. It wasn't hooked, it was just kind of resting on the post. Got that one, gave this one a wiggle, steadied him enough, managed to get behind the pole, catch it. No damage done. Oh, how about that? Jeez. Cool. So, gotta get all my cables out of the trees <laughs> and uh, disconnect my pin at the base and get this drag her out of the brush. I was thinking this would be the easiest way to get it out. I can just pull it straight out, disconnect my wire, pull that out of the house, and drag her over to her new home. I still got to get that stuff pounded in the ground, but the uh, hard part's done. I'll, uh, maybe I'll have a helper to get her back up, but uh, yeah. This will be the last scene you see with this turbine underneath the greenhouse. Ah, all right. So I got helpers, partners in crime, Alani, Isabel, Amelia. Amelia's a supervisor. We got our third earth anchor pounded in the ground. That was fun. Drilled a hole through it, got the carbiner in it, and cables are set. I got extra carbiner and those two earth anchors. And my girls here are gonna stabilize this so it doesn't go one way or the other uh, while I stand her up. So hopefully this goes a little smoother than uh when I brought it down. Well, it's 
So the camera fell. I don't know how much of that actually got recorded. Didn't review it yet. Whatever you see is what the camera saw. <laughs> um, whenever it fell over, I'll just cut it there. But they're both up. This is, you know, 10 feet. It's not uh, perfectly plumb yet. Looks like it can go back that way a little bit. Um, but uh, on the 25 foot, on that 35 foot, and they're both in the air and they're both spinning and pointing the same way. That's what I like to see. So now I can run my wire in right there, snake that across the basement, tie that into my rectifiers. And uh, when the wind picks up, we'll see what it does now with a little bit cleaner wind. This isn't clean wind. From the northeast is clean, but uh, it'll do better. I know it'll do better here. I'll finally probably see rated power at least, and it'll finally accumulate something. So, if you stuck it through to the end of the video, thanks for watching, and take care. God bless.